Uh, Pauly uh, sent this to me that there was a survey done in England, and uh, it was uh, 2,000 adults were voting on the saddest song of all time. Some of the finalists, uh, R.E.M.'s Everybody Hurts. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sinead O'Connor's Nothing Compares to You. Yep. Clapton's Tears in Heaven, which was written about his son. Uh, Whitney Houston's I Will Always Love You. Yesterday by the Beatles. Uh, it's interesting. A bunch of those are covers. Uh, well, Sinead O'Connor, that was Prince's song, yeah. right? Yeah, and Whitney Houston, is that's Dolly Parton. Yeah. You know that Dolly Parton wrote... Uh, I will always love you and Jolene in the same day. Oh, same day. I, you got you got to pace yourself. You got to spread yeah, that out. That's true. You know, one big afternoon. But they always talk about how these songs come to you, and then you'll hear somebody say, "I wrote it in 15 minutes." I don't know what that feeling is like, and when does it stop? Because there there are certain groups where you go, they just ran out of hits. And then you have other bands and you go, how do they keep doing it? Like the Stones have this catalog where you go, how do they do that? The Beatles, how do you do that? And then all of a sudden, Prince, and, you know, posthumously, we're going to be playing music that has never been released by him. All right, let's pick out the saddest song ever. Todd, I'll start with you. Cats in the Cradle by Harry Chapin. All right. A child arrived oh. just the other day. He came to Anybody who has a son knows this. All right, that's a, that's a good song. So is this like the uh, the kid's gonna become like the dad and nev- not have time for yes him his either? son yes. right yes. Yeah, History yeah. repeats itself. Right, yeah. right, right. All right, Seton yeah. O'Connor, saddest song to you is? The saddest one that always gets me, there's a song by Radiohead called Fake Plastic Trees that uh, is is really a good one. The green plastic watering can For a fake Chinese rubber plant <laughs> There's this song. <laughs> it's a, it's, <laughs> it's an awesome <laughs> song. Well, it's... it's Fake plastic trees. Oh, yeah. I, I, I can't help but laugh though that he's singing about fake plastic trees. But yeah, well, it's about like human connection in a, you know, materialistic world kind of thing. Mm. You know, you might you might have to go a little yeah, deeper. Yeah, I don't, I don't. I try not to go that deep on my. Sad There's song. this moment though, like mm-hmm. two and a half minutes into the song, say mm. though, where it really like crescendos and it's really powerful. Mm. It's a great song. Okay, Marv, saddest song. I got one by Stevie Wonder. I never dreamed you'd leave in summer. I never dreamed you'd leave in summer. I thought you would go, then come back home. Who's this about to you, Marvin? Actually, they played it at my aunt's funeral. Oh, and it gets me. And, Ouch! Yeah, and she died in July. Like not this past year, but in a and played it, and it was just. Oof. Good luck topping that one, Paulie. Unless you have a song about your <laughs> dead you're dad. Glad you weren't laughing at that one there, Dan. You didn't ask me who my dead person is that's tied to my song while you were laughing. Who's the fake plastic tree? Yeah. Who is that person? No, that's okay. It's just a crushing moment in my life, but I'm glad you're <laughs> laughing at it. <laughs> Uh, Paulie? One of my favorite artists is a guy named Warren Zevon. I think he's a little old school, but people still know him. Werewolf of London? Werewolf of London, oh. Warren Zevon. Warren Zevon was great. He was on Letterman when he was sick. Warren Zevon got mesothelioma lung cancer in uh, uh, summer of 2003. He wrote this song after he found out he had terminal illness. It's called Keep Me in Your Heart for a While. Shadows are falling and I'm running out of breath. Keep me in your heart for a while If I leave you it doesn't mean I love you any less Keep me in your heart for a while when Yeah, Paulie. If you remember the movie Funny People with Adam Sandler, yep. Adam Sandler's character thinks he has a terminal illness and Seth Rogen makes a mixtape for him and he plays this song and Sandler gets Sandler's character gets emotional. It's a great use of the song. Hmm. 
I kind of liked um, the long and winding road because it it was the end of the Beatles. It was I think Paul wrote it originally for uh, Ray Charles, and but it was it was the last single by the Beatles. Yes, uh, yeah, Marv. Did they play it at your aunt's funeral? Uh, no, no, they did. They did. They they played it at my dead dad's funeral. Topper. Yeah. Oh, you got yeah, me. Gotcha. gotcha. Boom. Gotcha. Yeah. We always got that one. Yeah. Yes, Marv. You had a dad though. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You got long and winding road there ready for me. I Casey, don't, Casey. Okay. All right. Yeah. You know it's a good one. Uh, you ever listen to Towns Van Zant waiting around to die? No. That's a banger. That's a real good one. Uh, what's the Coldplay one that's kind of sad? It's no Fix You. Yeah. And I'll fix you. That's a good one. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of sad songs. You ever hear, hear uh, Glenn Campbell, I'm Not Gonna Miss You? There's what there's a one. It's sort of like along the lines of Paulie's Warren Zevon one. He had just been diagnosed with Alzheimer's. And I think that might be one of the last songs he ever wrote. Hmm. Uh, so who won the contest here? Marvin? What? Uh, what time? Hey, Paul's is pretty good. No, one other one that I used to always get very emotional was Billy, Don't Be a Hero, if you remember that song. He goes off to war, and then she finds out that he died. She kept telling him, don't be a hero. Come back and make me your wife. And Marvin then, just laughed at you. He did. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't mean to, but you did. Billy, don't be a hero. Come back to me. That's making me sad. Yeah. <laughs> And she got a letter that told how Billy died that day. The letter said he was a hero. She should be proud he died that way. She threw the letter away. Can anybody talk that? Everybody hurts from Mario. Sometimes. Pretty good one. Yeah. Pretty good.